Yes, you know, I mean, even with music, it's the same thing. Um, I mean, if, uh, if, if I could, I would go back and destroy a lot of the songs that was on albums, that's on albums now. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got these magazines, they're called zines or something. <laughs> and it would be full of new breaking artists. Like there was always stories of Duran Duran and then uh, Kaya and Kaya Gugu broke up and started Kaya. Duran Duran broke up and started Arcadia. You know, it's the politics of dancing. It was so exciting. <laughs> and it was, you know, back then the, the, the pop stars and the rock stars were really, each and every one of them had a different uh, image and a different sound and it was very optical and exciting. The artist banned us, banned South Africa from using their original copies on these albums. So we had local bands redoing that music. No ways. But they did it so well that none of us knew. Wow. What? Um, yeah, it was crazy. So the Springbok Hit Parade albums was just full of actually cover versions of what? American and British music. There was this open mic thing. We went in and, um, and we jammed. I mean, that's what we did. I mean, I don't know what we were doing. We were just screaming and playing loud guitars and things. And it was <laughs> a very cool, he was amazing. And I think we really hit it off. And then uh, the guy said, well, you guys, it'd be cool if you guys start a band and do a show, the owner of the place. So I said, okay, well, cool, give us two weeks. And in the two weeks we had to like, or three weeks, whatever, we had to get the full band together. So and then that evening I met up with a, with a band and I said, well, I've got a cool name for the band, it must be Springbok Nukles. And then I mean, said, Tranche, I said, but one problem, there's no girls in the band. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, exactly, exactly, that's why. super awesome. I said, oh, I heard your new song, it's nice. <laughs> and then there's, then there's another group that uh, you just absolutely love their music and they're cool guys. And you guys kind of stick together. Well, we, I fell in love and I think me and Theo, our two bands fell in love. It was uh, Spring of Nukles and Butter and Nierge. Uh, and then she told me about this story where this guy wiped out his whole family, except his little blonde daughter was hiding in a cupboard somewhere. And by the time he wanted to kill her, he came to his senses. He got her out of the cupboard and he drove to the police and he gave himself over. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, and that is where the story comes from. We're going to grow you up, sir. Daddy's little blue eyes are come for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. So, and that is what that comes from. But, you know, like, she's brilliant at what she does. At ma she's very good at managing me. I don't think she likes it. She's really, <laughs> really, really good at her job. Um, <laughs> You've got to say nice things now. She's going to listen to this one. <laughs> um, she's really good at her job. And she's a, you know, I think she's the best in the country and, <laughs> the and she's the best mom <laughs> <laughs>